Good evening. My name is Sudhashil Ghosh and I am going to talk to you about trigonometric ratios. In this presentation, I am going to talk to, uh, talk to you about trigonometric ratios and let us see what's there. Now this is what we call as a right angle triangle. We call it a right angle triangle because there is one angle here. This angle is 90 degrees. All right. So that's the reason why this is called a right angle triangle. This particular line is called the baseline. This particular line is called the perpendicular and this particular line is called the hypotenuse. So the base, the perpendicular and the hypotenuse. I am introducing the sine ratio. The sine ratio is basically the ratio of the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse. So sine theta, sine theta, sin theta is equal to perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse or in short P divided by H. Now remember that the perpendicular is exactly opposite to the angle theta, right? So the cosine ratio now is the ratio of the base is to the hypotenuse. So the base is here and the hypotenuse here. Again, the perpendicular is here, which are not shown here, but the hypotenuse and the base, the theta is here. So cos theta is the base divided by the hypotenuse, so B by H. The tangent is defined as the ratio of the perpendicular and the base. So this line is the perpendicular and this line is the base. So perpendicular upon the base is P by B. Again, note that theta is here, perpendicular is exactly opposite to that angle theta. So up to now, what did I say? What did I learn? That sine theta is the ratio of perpendicular upon the hypotenuse, perpendicular here upon the hypotenuse. The cosine theta is the base upon the hypotenuse, base upon hypotenuse. And tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So perpendicular upon base. So how do I remember all this? Some people have curly black hair turned permanently brown. So sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Just see, sine theta is P by H. Some people have. So sine perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Curly black hair. Curly cos black base and hair hypotenuse turned permanently brown tan p b turned permanently brown that is the way we remember now let me introduce inverse trigonometric ratios so the inverse trigonometric ratio amongst the inverse trigonometric ratios the first one is the cosecant the cosecant is nothing but 1 upon sin theta as you can see here so if sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse, cosecant theta is hypotenuse upon the perpendicular. So just 1 upon sine theta. The secant ratio is nothing but 1 upon cosine theta. So if cosine theta is base upon hypotenuse, so secant theta is hypotenuse upon the base, H upon B. The cotangent ratio. <coughs> so the cotangent ratio is just the inverse of tan theta. If tan theta is perpendicular upon base, cotangent theta is base upon perpendicular. So up till now, what did we see? That cosec theta is hypotenuse upon perpendicular, secant theta is hypotenuse upon the base, and cotangent theta is base upon the perpendicular. Now, while we are talking about angles, there are two ways we can measure angles. One is degrees 
and the second one is called radians. So you have to remember that 180 degrees are equal to pi radians. Now the value of pi is a very very large number and we can't remember it. So for remembering pi we will use this particular sentence. May I have a large container of coffee? So, <clears throat> so for the first few digits we use may 3, I 1, have 4, a 1, large 5, container 9, of 2, and coffee 6. So 3.1415926 can be remembered as may I have a large container of coffee. Now there are some known values of trigonometric ratios. Now these angles are mentioned in degrees. So 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. And the angles similarly in radians are. Now we remember that 180 degrees are equal to pi radians. And therefore 0 is 0. 30 degrees is equal to pi by 6. 45 degrees are equal to pi by 4. 60 degrees are equal to pi by 3 and 90 degrees are equal to pi by 2. So for the sine 0 degree the value is 0, sine 30 degree the value is 1 upon 2, sine 45 degrees the value is 1 upon root 2, sine 60 degrees the value is 1 root 3 by 2, sine 90 degrees is 1. For cosine the value of 0 is 1 so cosine 0 is 1 cosine 30 is root 3 by 2 cosine 45 is 1 upon root 2 cosine 60 is 1 upon 2 and cosine 90 is 0 now you can just remember one line one single line just remember one single line 0 half 1 upon root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 and you just write the same thing in the inverse way so this is the forward direction and this is the reverse direction now for remembering this, the tangent line what you have to do is divide the sine value by the cosine value so 0 divided by 1 is 0 1 upon root 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is 1 upon root 3 1 upon root 2 divided by 1 upon root 2 is 1 root 3 by 2 divided by 1 upon 2 is root 3 and 1 divided by 0 is definitely undefined so we do not really do anything here it's undefined so therefore we don't care about it now there are some trigonometric identities that we have to remember cos 90 minus theta is sine theta sine 90 minus theta is cos theta tan theta is sine theta upon cos theta sine of minus theta is minus sine theta Cos of minus theta is cos theta. Sine A plus B equals to sine A cos B plus cos A into sine B. Similarly, cos A plus B equals to cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Now for very simple things, I have what I have done is if I put B equals to A in the above things, what will happen is sine 2a or sine 2 theta which I have written here sine 2 theta will become 2 time into sine theta into cos theta and cos 2 theta will become cos square theta minus sine square theta. Now remember that cos square theta is nothing but cos theta into cos theta. Now for the last trigonometric identity and one of the most important ones is cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. So I hope that we have covered the trigonometric ratios quite in a simple language and you can remember and look at this video again and again and remember things.